Hey everyone, Tymon here and in this video I will demonstrate how you can make your code more self-explanatory by discouraging the use of magic numbers and explain why they are long considered to be a bad practice in programming. The term magic number is not unique to any programming language and refers to the anti-pattern of using numbers directly in source code without a proper explanation of their meaning. The first problem with the use of unnamed numeric literals in code is that it obscures the developer's intent in choosing that number. Let's visualize this with a simple example. Say we want to create a function that calculates how many trucks are required to transport a given amount of eggs. Assuming that we know how many eggs fit in a carton, how many cartons fit in a box and how many boxes fit in a truck, we can create the following function. If you wonder what the numbers mean, you have just confirmed the first reason why magic numbers are problematic. They are not self-explanatory. If you disagree, you might have a hidden talent for transporting eggs and should maybe consider switching careers. But for us non-egg experts, we can make this code more self-explanatory by replacing the magic numbers with adequately named constants. These constants are referred to as explanatory constants because their naming conveys the meaning of the corresponding numeric literal. Usually they are defined in all uppercase letters at the top of a function or file facilitating the review and change. The main advantage of explanatory constants is that they have a single source of truth. Because of this, they are extremely easy to refactor. Edit the number on just one line and you're done. This saves time and reduces the chance of making mistakes during refactoring. Explanatory constants can also help to detect typos. When you use a variable instead of a numeric literal, you take advantage of your IDE's code validation. Accidentally typing 13 instead of 12 will go undetected, whereas a mistyped variable name will result in the compiler's warning that your variable is unrecognized. Some people may argue that the same level of explainability can be achieved in fewer lines of code by adding a comment instead of using explanatory constants, but this approach is error prone. For example, if you edit a number but forget to adapt the corresponding comment, you introduce a discrepancy in your code that will likely cause a headache in the future. Furthermore, it can be confusing if the number that's described in a comment is used in other parts of your code, meaning you might accidentally edit two semantically distinct numbers with the same value if you don't use explanatory constants. To illustrate, you likely do not want to change the number of months in a year whenever you change your air carton size. Though despite the advantages of using explanatory constants instead of magic numbers, you have to take into consideration that explanatory constants may hurt the locality of your code when they are not defined near their use. For smaller code bases, this is usually easy to avoid, but if you have a lot of frequently used constants, it can be useful to store them in a separate file. In this way, you always know where to find your constants while still benefiting from their advantages. So should you always define a variable for each number? Well no. In some contexts the use of unnamed numerical constants is generally accepted. While such acceptance is subjective and often depends on individual coding habits, the following are common examples. The use of exponents or simple arithmetic constants in mathematical expressions. The use of powers of 10 to convert metric values. The use of 2 to check whether a number is even or odd. This list is by no means final. In the end, you are to judge whether the use of explanatory constants make your code more manageable and easier to understand, because that is the end goal. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions, I'll talk to you below the like button. See you at the next one.